I'm rolling. Silver bean, I'm rolling. Roll the weed, I'm rolling. Roll high. What's going on, everyone? This is the King and Candy Show, and I am your favorite host, King. And this is my co host, Candy. Hi, guys. What's going on, everyone? Hopefully, everyone is well. We have a spectacular show for you today. Can you tell us what's going on for the show, Candy? Oh, yes. Today we're going to be talking about the planet Jupiter and Shakira. Shakira, Shakira, <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. And for those of you who can't see him, which is everyone but me, he's doing like a little belly dance shimmy. It's really cute. Hello, does anyone have my shimmy? <laughs> does anyone have my shimmy ready? Oh my goodness. God, wow. Okay, Candy, this is my third day. No profanity. Yay, how are you feeling? Hello. I feel better than yesterday, dude. It was like a little melancholy, dude. I, I, yeah, you're I, having like withdrawals. Yeah, I actually <laughs> left the show. And after I left the show, I had... Yeah. Uh, I went into the restroom yeah. and I did like probably like 30 minutes of just MFs. <laughs> That's what that noise was? Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. Are That's, you okay? I had to get it out. It was like, I don't know how I could do a 40 minute show without using any kind of profanity. Wow. It was just, it's just alarming. <laughs> it's alarming. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> so, thank you for tuning into our show. Uh, thank you. If you enjoy our content, please continue to keep downloading, sharing, and subscribing. If you don't know, the download button is right there to the right. Push it, it's an arrow going down, and that's your instruction. That's what we want to hear. And we're going to jump right into this show today. Hopefully, one, everyone is well. We're going to jump right into these current events and let these current events show their self to be self-evident and true that my people on top of the world, on top of everything. <laughs> Sorry. Can you go ahead and Candy and give them some of these current, current yeah. events, so, Candy? Sure. Uh, oh, my goodness. Current events. Hurricane Siren. Hurricane Ian live update. Current yeah. events. Oh, candy. <laughs> Current events. Blah, 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 blah. What? Is that what you hear when you ask the me? Yeah, that's right. That's what it hear sounds you. like to you? Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me, dude. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, mm. Hurricane Ian is causing a lot of issues. Cuba loses power yes all of cuba and tornadoes strike florida ahead of the storm's landfall so they're already having trouble and the storm hasn't even hit the land yet so are you freaking yeah kidding it's me, bad, guys. you should look up some videos online it's crazy the people what keep people are capturing on their cell phones yeah it is man i saw some of those tornadoes i was praying for the people instantly and hopefully everyone else is praying in the united states because you don't know what it feels like to have the rug slipped up under you dude i mean for real it's like a tornado to do that and spin it all up in front of you Okay, 50 tons of water vapor from Tonga's eruption could warm the earth for years. Oh my god, so there must have been an eruption in the Ring of Fire. We were talking about that a couple of days. And Tonga's right there in the Pacific Ocean. There's actually a lot of islands in that Pacific Ocean. They're called Micronesia. So speaking of Micronesia, I just want to take out time for a little Micronesian anthem. Are you ready, family? Yes. I'm from Micronesia. So go for it. To their anthem. 
guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Apple ditches iPhone production because no one wants their phone. They were supposed to increase production and then nobody bought their phone. And they're like, you know what? Maybe we should not keep making a bunch of phones. And if you remember, Steve Jobs' daughter was like, uh, this one is just like the last two. There's nothing different. And I guess people that looked at it felt the same way. Nothing different. Nothing different. Here we go again. That's a doozy. That's right. New study uh, seeks to explain the Mandela effect. Oh, my God. Yeah. The bizarre phenomenon of shared false memories. Do we think they're shared false memories? Or do we think those memories actually exist mm-hmm. in, in there? And we're just consciousness manifested. Like, we're consciousness shared. That, yeah. that, that's what everyone says, you know, lately in the in the new movement. Of, of conscious people is mm-hmm. that we we are all collective consciousness, right? And so if we are all collective consciousness, the thoughts that I'm thinking or the thoughts that you're thinking, we're right. share, sharing it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my new favorite sound. Yeah, the robot. Yeah. yeah. Hey, a rare cloned horse learns the way of the wild at a zoo. So at first it was like, dude, I'm cloned. What am I? How am I supposed to act? And then he hung out it with other horses at the zoo, and he's like, I could do this. He started acting like a regular horse. So I guess it's nature versus nurture. I guess so. Here we go. We are all out there in the buck of it. Shoot. So that's basically all that's going on in the world of current events. Can we clap it up? How do you feel about that? Absolutely incredible. Right. That's how I feel about it. That's exactly how I feel about it. Yeah, dude, when you join our, our podcast, you're joining a group of fun. A group of people that are just intellectually here and here to serve you as incredible marsupials you right. are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we getting back at it, man. We're getting into the other donkey of the day. Candy, are you ready for these donkeys? I I love wildlife. I know I'm freaking ready for donkey of the day. If you want to try to tell me the tall but tell me way. Looking for the donkey, Bill Gates want to say. And Bill Gates want to talk all this stuff that he own all America with his investment group. He act like he ain't owning nothing because his son, he don't want to pay no taxes. He not paying taxes. That's why he got to own so much land. Wait, what? Did you just say, say Bill Gates owns America and doesn't pay taxes? He does doesn't want to pay. That's why you got to well, Nobody earn wants to pay. I don't want to pay taxes either. But that's why you got to, if you're multi-gazillionaire, you got to buy land and you got to pay <laughs> no paying taxes on your See, companies. you can talk to me about him and not paying taxes on a show where we're not going to I'm a wizard. Like, I'm that's a just wizard. not even fair. He's the wizard. He's something. Dorothy. Coming yeah. soon. Yeah. Bill Gates. The cow. Cool of the day. Really cool. Really cool, dude. If I can ask you a question that often comes up in the context of this conversation, why are you buying up so much farmland in America? Yeah, I own, you know, through an investment office that invests in quite a few things, about one four thousandth of the land uh, in the U.S. So it's a very, you know, distributed thing. There's not anyone who owns, you know, much of that land. Uh, you know, they've decided it's a good investment. Uh, you know, that's very mechanized agriculture, so mm. not that similar to, you know, who are trying to help out in Africa. So no direct connection there. But, you know, the money that I haven't spent through the foundation, all of it will go to the foundation. But in the meantime, we invest it, try to get returns so we can have as much to send to poor countries as possible. Warning. Warning. Nice try. What kind of an answer was that? It's like the money I haven't spent, which I will spend, that will be through the foundation. Uh, the, uh, one four thousand, bro. Answer the question. Answer the question, bro. Gawabil asila. Answer the question. Answer the question. Yalla, he answered like five other questions, but not that question. 
Uh, no, man. You see, skirting around it. You call it skirting around. So when you skirt around, you got to skirt around with the little skirts on. And when you don't mm-hmm. skirt around enough, you just don't, you know, skirting. Mm-hmm. So we're getting into the words of wisdom. Are we really candy? It's going to be a big one. And I mean a big one, and I mean a big one. Words of wisdom. It's for you today. The movie The Matrix is not science fiction. It's a documentary. Every human, and it's a fact, every human, first seven years, is, uh, is download a hypnosis. The brain of a, a child under seven is in a lower vibrational frequency. When you put wires on a, a person's head, you read electroencephalograph, reading brain activity. A child below seven has a lower vibration than consciousness. It's called theta. Theta is imagination. Oh, that's how kids play a a tea party with mud pies, but to them it's a real thing. A kid rides a broom, it's a horse. That's theta, imagination. Theta is also hypnosis. And the idea is this. Before you can become conscious, if you don't have any programs, what are you going to be conscious of? It's sort of like I buy a new iPod and I take it out of the box and I push play and nothing happens and you think, oh my God, I spent all the money and the damn thing isn't working. And then some little seven-year-old kid comes up and says, well, you, mister, you, you didn't download any music. How are you going to play something? And I go, that's the same thing. Uh, it's like the brain is like the iPod. Consciousness is the screen where I can create. But if I don't have anything in the hard drive, I can't create. So nature makes the first seven years how, what kind of programs are required to live on this planet? I say, how do you get them? Theta is hypnosis. You just watch. You watch your parents. You watch your siblings and your community because you have to learn how many hundred thousand rules. Think about it. Just to be a functional member of a family and a functional member of a community, there are rules. I teach an infant these rules. It's like, oh, you don't have to. First seven years, they just they observe it and just download it. We'll be right back. If you are anti-woke and love freedom, success, entrepreneurship, business, financial literacy, and the opportunities available from free market capitalism, then you'll love our show. We approach these topics with passion and a common sense anti-woke, did I say anti-woke, point of view. We also intertwine politics, crime, economics, and other trending topics that matter to you. Alpha Uncut. Check us out. Booing infants in beta. Like. I want to do it, Danny. Uh-huh. I, I, want, I want to listen to you, Danny. I just hit my brother upside the head with a rocket <laughs> ball, Danny. I'm daddy. I'm daddy. I'm daddy. I'm daddy. I ain't trying to do it, Danny. I'm seven years old, Danny, 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 Danny. Really, man? Wow. Really? Wow. We're freaking taking care of kids, and these kids ain't taking care of nothing else. <laughs> so it make no sense. You should have a school directly in class, in high school, in elementary, that the, what, what it means to take care of a kid. <laughs> you don't know these kids going to poop everywhere. Wow. You don't know these kids going to get to be three years old and start taking your gold chains and, and putting it on and going to the grocery store. What? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Got them kids. I'm tired. So we're getting to the dumb is this is the spectacular show of the day and we're also going to go there. Get ready for oh! Yeah, that's right, dude. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we are getting to the dumbest of the day, and this is a spectacular time where the human body actually able goes there. Oh, but before we go to the dumbness, let's go to the conspiracy theory realm. Are we ready? I have my tinfoil hat right here. Tinfoil hat. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready, guys. For confetti. (laughs) Tinfoil hat. There's a psychological study where violent criminals rated videos of pedestrians from 1 to 10. From easy to victimize to I would avoid trying to victimize that person. What they did was try to figure out who these 
violent criminals would attack. And there was a couple things. The the I like this one. People that the the perpetrators would look at and say, I would I probably wouldn't assault that person. They had something called that they called organized quality. So the person just looks organized. If you look squared away, it's a real thing. Yeah. People sense that. Uh, the victims, the way most of the people that were identified as, oh, I would attack that person, they would say they had inconsistency in the way they walked. So how should we walk? How should we carry ourselves? Well, I started di- diving into this, uh, into this rabbit hole a little bit. NBC News had an article written by Steve Cardian, who was a police officer, he's in the Marine Corps, uh, he's a detective, he's an FBI defensive tactics instructor. The crux of this article is that it takes a criminal about seven seconds to decide whether you're a good victim or a bad victim. One of them is stride length. Forceful, dynamic steps. I like turtles. Forceful, <laughs> dynamic steps, medium length, so you're not trying to like step too far because then you, then you look awkward. Posture, you know, you got to stand up straight. Makes sense. Here's how you don't walk. You don't want to take little small steps either. Yeah. Little tiny steps. Because then you either look timid or you look like you're hurt or like you're limping and you're like a weak gazelle out, out on the plains that's about to get taken down. Yeah. If you're slumped over, you're hunched. It means you're scared. Whatever. If you're... If you're slower than everybody else, you're probably injured. You're probably some way weak. You can't propel yourself with any amount of force. Are you going to you finish for sure can't get away. That's yeah. kind of like what it feels yeah. like. You know, they can't. They can't escape. Look how slow this guy is. That was another one. If your arm swing is too small, that means you're timid. Yeah. Which you can imagine someone walking all huddled right. up right together. Um, wh- what I like about these things is it's kind of things like you said. You don't even notice. Them. Yeah. Wow. So what if you're it sounds like an animal looking for prey. I it, guess. It, Dang. It is, dude. That's what I was saying from the beginning. I was like, yo, humans have a nature that they're meant to basically uh, devour one another. And you got to watch out how the devouring happens. Or you will be eaten up like a cow does a, 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 a gazelle. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Wow. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? So, we want to go there. Since we went there, we're going to go to the dumbish. Are you ready for the dumbish? Yeah. Candy? Let's do it. Don't sound so freaking happy, Candy. You sound like you're on the... Well, now I'm worried. I'm like, what is my leg stride? What is my arm propulsion distance? Like, now I got to walk like a New Yorker trying to catch a subway everywhere. I don't know what to do. Well, walk like that. Don't walk like you're in the toilet. I just came... Ew, huh? I just came with brass knuckles. But the thing is, that's the reason why you have a man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that's the reason why a Amen. woman should should be with men. It 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 shows this physical sign of um of protection. And 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 we don't understand that we're in the jungle as we as we are, as we're going to the grocery store, going to get our little crumpets and croissants and things <laughs> of that nature, you know? Yeah, I, I don't know how many baked beans you gotta get before you know that you gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the dumbish. I think coffee is a very interesting example because when it was first introduced into our culture, as I understand, it was considered a, a virtually a hallucinogenic drug. Oh yes, when coffee was first introduced into Western culture, uh, it was associated with certain establishments where loose women and loud music were available and the bohemian literati would gather and drink coffee and talk into the night and it was considered quite a uh, risque thing to be involved with, that's right. And, And wasn't tobacco also viewed that way initially? Yes, tobacco is a very similar case. Uh, The anthropologist Eduardo Luna has pointed out that tobacco, which had a history of millennia of use in the New World, was within a hundred years of being introduced into Europe through Portugal, was being buried in the graves of subarctic Lapland shamans. So it shows how the character of a drug is quickly discerned by a culture, even a culture that is encountering that plant or that drug for the first time. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think, Candy? Do you? I think for those of you who don't know that voice, his name is Terrence McKenna. He has so many lectures about any hallucinogenic you can think of. He's done everything, and he's here to tell you about it. I think he passed away already, but um, he's a very interesting character. But, I mean, I think it's interesting that it's now, like, just something that's a commonplace thing, and that a long time ago was considered hallucinogenic. That's so interesting. I don't think, I don't think definitions of things change. I think, I think money changes things, and when money gets involved in it and the use of the populace starts to use it i think definitions start to change and when those definitions start to change they usually take a monetary stand what about that and i also think that you can't butter your biscuit without having garlic on the other side of it you can't put jelly on garlic biscuits (laughs) you freaking kidding me man now i want a biscuit now you want a biscuit (laughs) <laughs> getting on my nerves, getting on my nerves. Can we go into the actual story or not? Deny. I know. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Jupiter is closer to Earth than it has been in 59 years. It's so close that people can see it from the Bay Area in the night skies. That's amazing. So for stargazers and people that love telescopes and stuff like that, Jupiter is reaching the peak opposition tonight. And it's considered a celestial event. A planet's opposition occurs when it appears opposite to the sun from the perspective of Earth. So in this case, Jupiter, on Monday night, the planet will rise in the east as the sun sets in the west, separated by 180 degrees. In other words, the Earth is passing right between Jupiter and the sun, making it very visible to us. The last time this happened was in 1963, according to NASA. So I think it's really cool. I love looking at stuff like this. I wish I had a telescope or, like, really powerful binoculars or something because I really love looking at events like this in the sky. But I don't, so I'll just imagine it. Aw, that's so sad. I know. It's so sad. Boo, boo, Charlie, boo. (laughs) So, let's uh, get into into the entertainment news. I I love Jupiter, by the way. I I, I don't want to play like I don't like Jupiter. I love Jupiter. And I want people that don't love Jupiter to get out of my way, like, now. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Well, um, next is Shakira in entertainment news. Shakira to stand trial in Spain for tax evasion. She's a Colombian music star, for those who have been living in a cave and have no idea who Shakira is. And uh, she's apparently set to stand trial in in a Spanish court for allegations of tax fraud amounting to 14.5 million pounds. Uh, A Barcelona court ordered the singer to stand trial for six alleged tax crimes. They don't have a court date yet, but prosecutors want to put her in jail for eight years and find her 23.8 million pounds if she's found guilty can you imagine shakira going to jail for eight years that's, that's just, crazy that's just, just a waste of time it's a shakedown it is I a mean, shakedown they're, they're in where, 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 where is she at dude is she in i don't spain, know where she is Italy? she's mm, i mean she's colombian I think she's in spain dog. but she doesn't live there permanently what happened is she was dating a guy seriously she was dating him gangsters and so she bought a house because that's what rich people do you date somebody you buy a house there so you can hang out and so because she bought a house there even though she was traveling all around the world during music she didn't live there full time but they're saying nope you bought a house here so you must have lived here full time and uh, you owe us taxes between 2012 to 2014. Because under Spanish law, people who spend more than six months in the country per year are considered residents for tax purposes. But Shakira said, I was not living there mainly at the time. I only got the house because I was dating, seriously dating, footballer Gerard Peake. 
And so she, they actually offered her a plea deal and she said, I'm not taking your plea deal because I didn't do anything wrong. I'm going to trial because I have plenty of evidence that I was not in Spain six months out of the year from 2012 to 2014. And I'm more than happy to take you on in court. And you already know she has the best lawyers money can buy. She's very wealthy and very well represented. I think, uh, she, I think she's going to win. I think it's BS. I think it's BS too, but I don't like that these countries, these European countries, all these countries are like, yeah. they're taxing people that are traveling with their money. Like, I understand it's all about money, but at the end of the day, dude, like, we, we, you're on the international internet. Like, you right. can literally, I don't think countries are thinking about, or people that are in charge for the marketing of these countries, I don't think they're thinking about the steps that they're taking in the international presence, mm -hmm. what that's going to mean for tourism in their country. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's if, bad press. If, for yeah, sure. it's completely bad press. If, if they were thinking about like, oh man, if we uh, take security to court, how is that going to look internationally for our international mm -hmm. students, for mm -hmm. our international people that bring money into our into our economy, for all of our tourism and our economy? What is that basically going to do? Mm -hmm. Is that going to push all of the expats that are here from other countries out because Shakira is getting right. uh, be getting a bad a bad right. a bad rep here in our judicial system? Yeah. it's like no, well, they, they, they're not. People taking are going to be scared to visit. Okay, I'm going to visit here, and then you're going to put me on the hook for tax fraud, and then want to put me in jail because i visited your country no thank you Why i'll go one of the other million of destinations that won't do that to me right i'm not gonna sit up here and go to no country i love secure i ain't gonna go to a country that's been persecuting secure for what right so i don't, I don't think countries are, i don't think people are doing that that's why i say it's a shakedown you're shaking down too many people and when you shake down the wrong people you're gonna end up messing up the economy for for the entire right. country right. you pick the you wrong know what I'm you, you pick, pick the wrong, pick the wrong person. Person. yeah you don't pick <laughs> You don't pick an international star right. to basically shovel down just because you can muscle the person down right. because you think they got a little chips and stuff because you want right. to build a house or something right. with those little chips that they got and you want to yeah. go get some coffee that you shouldn't be drinking in the first damn place. They but. probably thought she was just going to be like, oh, just plea deal it. I have so much money. But she's the kind of person, apparently, that's like, it's not about the money. It's about the principle. She, her lawyers actually said the minute she started dating the footballer Gerard Peake, and bought a home here they started the tax people in spain started salivating and she did finally become um settled there in 2015 and paid 17 million pounds worth of taxes so she's like i paid the taxes when i was here full time i did it forthcomingly i didn't wait for them to reach out to me i told them i'm here full time now i've been here for six months this year Here's the 17 million pounds I owe you for 2015. She said, but 2012 to 2014, that's not what happened, and I'm not giving you another dime. It's a principle. Good for her. Good for her, man. Thank you for all for tuning into our show. We want to thank you. If you enjoy our content, please continue to download, share, and subscribe for all the things that we got coming for you because we always got good shows. Good knowledge, good wisdom, and good understanding to you. How about that? Yeah. Also, if you want to show us some love, consider supporting our channel by going to Cash App and donating to King Candy Show. The link to that Cash App, as well as to our website and email, will be listed down below in the description. That's right. You've just got finished listening to True and Living, where we focus on peace, peace justice, justice, and, and truth. truth. And while you get that peace, Justin, and truth, please get the knowledge itself because the knowledge itself is everything that you possibly can do to incorporate peace, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding into your brain and into your environment. The more you have peace, knowledge, and understanding, the more you can be able to stand up on those two pillars or those three pillars that were set by not you, but some other wise person in the universe that came down and wrote down and maybe put it in a book or two. <sighs> I digress. But with that said, over here, we um, promote getting back to nature. Uh, what is getting back to nature, you might say? What is getting back to nature, King? It's this, Candy. We're in the season of a second summer now. Unfortunately, we are, we are supposed to be in fall, but we are in a second summer as a people. The storms on the planet Earth are actually getting more worse. So what can you do to decrease the planet's activity on getting worse? Well, since we are here and nature will be here after our raggedy net muffins will leave. 
<laughs> what we have to do, we have to get together and we have to form a plan together. And it doesn't have to be led by the mayors or the governor or the president or the Congress. You can get together right there in your freaking families. <laughs> Get there and together and you plan an organization every weekend that you get off of your jobs that you run around in a rat race for. And when you do this, you, you go around to the nurseries. You go call around to the nurseries and say, hey, do you have any trees that I can actually take? I want to get about 100 trees. Go get 100 trees and go plant those trees in natural parks. Go plant those trees in places where there hasn't been any land or any vegetation for years. And there's turmoil between property owners and real estate agents because the person that died left the land and did not leave a will. Oh, my God. Thanks. Take that time to plant a tree, gosh darn it. And when you do it, you will find that you are amazing, that the earth will start to respond to you as you start to feed the birds, as you start to feed the, feed the, the, the fish that you eat so much, you freaking gulliff. <laughs> you have to stand and stop being a gut, a, a gutton, a gutton, a gutton, a, a glutton, a, a glutton, gosh darn it. <laughs> You're freaking gluttons out there. Oh. You're eating too much fish. You're eating too much pork. You're not eating enough vegetables. You got about 10, the average person has about 10 pounds of waste all up in oh their uh, lower intestines. That's Lord, nice. you, full, you actually are full of it. Oh my God. Do me a favor. Release it all with some good herbs like some funnel Greek, with some good tea, like some good uh, uh, chamomile, good holy basil because y'all stressed out. Do me a favor. Get back to nature. We have a nonprofit coming called Get Back to Nature where we will be taking the youth, young adolescents to the park, to all around the world, to plant trees, to feed the fish, to feed the birds, to try to erase our carbon footprint in a gentle way. If you want to change this environment, you must change it in your individual house. Start planting a garden. Get back to nature. I digress. Have a wonderful, peaceful, and productive evening. And may all that you do, may it all sound like poo. What? What? I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the storms are coming. The storms are coming. And I know it, too. But you mess around with the uh, uh, boo-boo. Who's there? The restoration.